production process is generally divided into three main steps. First, making of the dough, then the sauce, and finally, assembling both components together. Because of their delivery speed, some people speculate that Little Caesars pizzas are just frozen pizzas that are heated when ordered. However, past and present workers in their kitchens worldwide have debunked these theories via posts on social media. Little Caesars pizzas are made from scratch daily and begin with the dough's production. This process is typically done by hand, but because of the large quantity of dough needed to meet all their orders, large mixers are used in their kitchens instead. First, lukewarm water is poured into the mix, but the temperature is checked first because any temperature higher than what's required would kill the yeast, reducing the level to which the dough would rise. After confirming that the temperature is just right, the dry yeast is added, and the required amount of sugar is also added. At this point, the mixer is set to a low speed, nothing vigorous just yet, and after a while, the mixture gets bubbly, which signifies the activity of the yeast. If there are no bubbles, this mixture is discarded, and the entire process is started all over. However, if the yeast is active, flour and the star of the show finally join the party. The flour is added continuously, fast at the beginning and slowly toward the end. The mixer is set to a high speed, and a kitchen worker observes the entire process. The mixing is allowed to continue until a shaggy dough ball is formed, and when it's so firm it can't hold any more ingredients, no more flour is added. When the mixing is over, each batch is kneaded and stored in the refrigerator until needed. This storage could take a few days, and in that time, the dough balls are softened, and the environment allows them to rise thanks to yeast. The longer they are kept inside the refrigerator, the more flavorful they become, so they are typically stored for about three days. Next, the dough needed for each day is taken out of a batch made a few days prior, and while the dough is being kneaded and prepared, it's time to make the tomato sauce. For regular Little Caesars, Finely chopped garlic cloves and chili flakes are sautéed in a pan for a few minutes before freshly bagged tomato puree is added. Other seasonings like salt, sugar, and some Italian herbs and spices are also added. However, the mixture is not heated for longer than a few seconds since it'll still cook when the pizza is baked. Next, it's time for the pizza to be assembled. The pre-made dough is cut into smaller sizes and rolled out on a flat surface. The kitchen workers ensure that the dough is not too flat so it has some stamina, and they also make sure that the edges are thicker than the center. After that, the tomato sauce is scooped onto the dough and spread out from the center to the outer parts. Not too much sauce is added to the dough because since the baking time is supposed to be just a few minutes, too much sauce would slow down the cooking process and cause wet spots which nobody wants on their pizza. In some cases, cut vegetables and shredded cheese are added to the top of the pizza, depending on the kind being made. Some of these vegetables and extras include tomato slices for the extra tomato flavor, lettuce and mushrooms for extra crunchiness, and cheese for the chewiness that brings it all together. Cheese is usually added for that chewy effect, while other additions are made according to the type of pizza being made. Give me that extra cheese, please. For chicken pizza, the sauce is made using a completely different recipe. First, chicken cutlets are washed, salted, and sautéed in a non-stick pan for a few minutes, and they are closely monitored to ensure that they don't get too brown on either side. After a couple of minutes, ginger cloves, chili flakes, tomato puree, and soy sauce are added to the pan and heated for a while. Italian herbs and spices are also added in as well to enhance the flavor of the sauce. Next, the sauce is spread on the flattened dough, and toppings added include lettuce, onions, and cheese. Some of these toppings are added when the pizza has been baked to preserve the crunchiness, while others are baked alongside the pizza and the sauce. And that brings us to the final step, baking. In preparation for the baking, the pizzas are loaded onto flat steel baking sheets and stacked on a rack, while the oven is preheated to a temperature of about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Please keep your hands and feet outside of the oven. The racks with baking sheets are rolled into the oven, which has a conveyor system. The baking process takes about 6 to 10 minutes, and with the help of the conveyor belt, 
the racks are moved from the entrance to the exit of the oven within this time. Afterwards, the pizzas are taken out of the oven, sliced, and packaged in the signature Little Caesars boxes. From there, the hot packaged pizzas are either handed over to customers waiting in the restaurant or kept inside large coolers where they sit for a few minutes before they are delivered to your doorstep, just when you're about to start that movie or hang out with your friends.